So I thought I'd uh, record myself playing some Steam demos from the new Steam uh, demo extravaganza that's going on right now. Uh, I've got a uh, curated little list of them that looked neat, um, and I figured I'd just play through a bunch of them and show you what they're like and give you some commentary on my opinions, um, my feels, and uh, maybe that will be interesting while I'm kind of tidying between two videos right now because like um, we're working on a, a project that got a little out of hand again. Uh, if you'll remember, Project L was supposed to be a video that came out in uh, October, and that came out in, like, January. <laughs> so I uh, figured I'd show off the new little things I've been tinkering with, this little frame, uh, get a little pixelization, kind of little Macintosh monochrome. Uh, don't mind me if I look down at myself on the screen. Um, we're kind of a new place. Don't mind the boxes. Uh, so... Uh, I'm um, kind of between monitors, so I'm, I don't know, playing around with it. So uh, we've made a little uh, kind of Twitch style desktop here. We actually thought we were going to be doing some Twitch streaming in the future, but it turns out that five megabits is just not enough megabits. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, I just can't can't get Comcast to to want to provide an actual amount of internet so that you can stream stuff. Um, all right, the mouse going a little crazy there. I also have this new mouse, uh, and it's got holes in it. Occasionally it jitters around a little bit though. Uh, it's not very fun. Anyway, so uh, what we're gonna do here, um, boot this up. Um, let's check to see if this is working. Yeah, looks like it's working, sweet. So we have a game here called Cooperative Chess. Um, so uh, the idea here is that you're working together to finish a game of chess. Uh, but you can't just play any chess game. Co-op chess occurs in rounds, and each round you must occupy all the target squares with a solid border and a exclamation point in the top right corner. You each get two moves per round that you can choose simultaneously without knowing what the other has chosen. In this case, black has already chosen their moves. You can move a white piece either by dragging and dropping it or selecting it and then choosing its destination. Go ahead and choose your moves. All right, so... Um, chess, classic game, the Mad Queen's Chess looks like here. I don't know, that's just me showing off that I think I know what the name of the, the current version of chess we all play is. Um, I was neat that the rooks here are grayed out, like all these pieces here are grayed out that you can't move, right, because they don't have any legal moves. So that's kind of neat. Um, alright, so we don't know what black is going to do, but we can grab some pieces here that we think will be easy to fit into that slot. So it's kind of, I guess, what we're doing is we're trying to like speculate what black could do to possibly occupy this space. And then we're trying to help them out as best as we can. So like, all right, hypothetically, let's see, black could move forward and then they could do what? How, how's the space getting occupied? Um, I mean, this, this, Bishop could come out here, but I think that we only have to make two moves. Well, well let's just grab these and we'll see what happens. Oh, I guess we got all the ones with exclamation points. I wonder what the, okay, so bonus square. It's like the, what the question mark here means. Uh, there's always one bonus square. If it's occupied at the end of the round, you collectively get another move for the next round. Go ahead and finish this round. Black will occupy the bonus square. So it's kind of like a procedurally generated puzzle game then. Uh, I thought that these were going to be like curated moves or whatever. Um, all right, so black could go forward here. Uh, they could also go into here. I can occupy this and I can move this guy forward, grab my, what I can. Yep, all right, cool. So they moved up the bishop instead of the pawn. It's interesting. I mean, I guess the idea for cooperative chess is that you want to get your pieces that are like able to move around more freely out sooner rather than push all these pawns out, which kind of block the board. Um, all right, so I get an extra move with black and white. Look, it's two. Okay, take your three moves, okay. Well, this guy here is totally up to black. Um, all right, well, 
Take our knight out here. Um, pretty straightforward. Uh oh. <laughs> Invalid move. <laughs> oh, we're stepping on each other's toes. Uh, since the whole point of cooperative chess is to play a technically valid game of chess, you have to choose a new move to replace that invalid one. In this case, it looks like the king is in check, so you'll have to block the attacking piece or move the king. Okay. So in that case, I guess what I'll do is yeah. I'll move here. Yeah. Yeah. Invalid move because my pawn didn't move from the earlier turn. So I guess yeah. I'll have to go here. Yeah. That's interesting. She does not completely hosed if you like step on each other's toes. Vulnerable checkmate. You'll both win if you successfully end the game. But you still have to occupy the target square the squares or you lose instead. Oh, that's interesting. Go ahead and try to win the game. Okay. Well, I can't do anything about this. Um... So what would I, how would I, okay. So if, if this bishop moves here, can I attack? I guess I could just take it with king, right? So that's not checkmate. Um, all right, well, I'm going to move forward. Um, and then let's see here. I can. I mean, I could just move my king yeah. into the space, but I feel like yeah. what I want to do is actually yeah. occupy my yeah. rook because then I can box my king in. Yeah. 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 Oh, valid move, right? Because I, I had to release my king from check. Um, okay, so king has to go here then. Hooray! <laughs> Core operation complete. All right. I mean, that was cute. Um, this game seems like it would uh, be great for people who actually like chess, and um, not so great for me, who like I don't really like thinking about my opponent's plays in this game. So um, interesting. So am I playing against myself here? Simulate two player. Yeah, okay, so... How would we get out of here? I don't know. Let's just, just push our queen out. Okay, and then I'm playing basically both halves here. Alright, so this is distinctly designed to be a two-player game. I guess that makes sense. The uh, tutorial here... Let's see... I, th I thought... Oh, okay, you just hit solo? Okay, I, th I guess hitting play, I accidentally set myself up for a two-player game with another actual opponent. So... Oh, wait, this is the same game? Um... Yeah, this is the same game. Back. Quit. Can I... All right, never mind. Interesting. Okay, well, that's cute. That's, that's cute. Um, I wish I'd, I don't know, invited another person to come play this game with me. That could have been a thing, I suppose. Um, all right, let's see what else we got. I would say I could give that a good worth your demo time. Um, if, uh, if you don't have a friend who'd want to play that game with you, uh, then you're probably, you know, not going to have such a great, you know, time with it. But I mean, like, the demo is definitely worth it. I mean, like, you can see whether or not this game's for you, and there's probably going to be a very small group of people who this game is for. So uh, good on them for, for being a part of this thing. Um, all right, so let's see. I've got Song of Iron. Let's see if this comes through.
game is boot. All right. Still trying. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Let's see, did this actually work? Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's working. New game. Uh, new game. Oh, sure. I'll take a character option if I get one. It's, an, I know, it's nice that they include like um, two different sexes here. Or at least, you know, two male, masculine, feminine, feminine. So we play this lady. What within? Uh, she's a rose one. I'm, I'm trying to mess around with the gamepad. Uh, input. Okay. Lock there. Capitalize the lock. Gamepad. Okay, we're in a custom. This <laughs> is like. Video, like actually dynamically changed uh, the settings instead of the save it. Uh, that's fine. Whether all right, good shield. This is very early. It seems like uh, not a lot of the animations actually finished. LB to block with shield. Okay. attacker's weapons here. Don't know how, like, what a, the condition of our stuff is. Hey, I kick you. Oh. Wow, alright. Go get him. Good Rex. <laughs> Welcome to Dark Souls, or World Song of Iron, or whatever. Prepare to die. F Tutorial. One enemy. Cool. Got that one. Alright. Next encounter. Two enemies from opposite sides. Awesome. Yeah, kick you right over. We're ready to sign. Block. Alright. <laughs> Made it this time. Let me jump. Dash backwards. Oh, you can click in the button to dash backwards. I guess that's a thing. Jump. Oh, throw axe. That's that's fun. Okay. So we have a we have a heavy attack. Uh, but we don't have a light attack. I mean, it's cute so far. Three. <laughs> yeah. Axe to the face. Oh, yeah, our shield is pretty <laughs> Take it. I guess we can see our shield breaking down to see whether or not like it's got it's kinda like a visual representation of home. It's kinda fun. <laughs> I wonder what happens if we encounter a guy we miss with our axe or something. Push and pull. 
Just pull this wagon all the way back to the Anaka. <laughs> Alright. Climb over objects. Objects. My village. It is Wolfric. He finally found us. Please, you must save what is left of our people. Take this to the old forest. Find this godstone. The godstone, stone of God. Godstone. An oath binds the gods to aid the bear. It is our last chance. We have nowhere else to run. Stay strong. While you live, there is hope. I mean hope. Hi. I love you. Bleh. The animations are actually nice. Um, that's some, that's some solid animation there. Okay, so that was a memory of what was going on. Alright, so we just punch a guy if I need to. Grab all these arrows. Okay, draw bow, fire arrow. I mean, like, so it, it still looks like it's a little unpolished overall, like, um, I should actually see if I can change some of this here. It's a little screen Terry, we don't have V-Sync on. Right. 30 frames are fine for me. I don't know about you guys, though. Alright, hold, jump, fly. You remember that. Let's see if we can remember all of our moves, though, as soon as we get into combat. It's like, wolf out of nowhere, eats your face. Cool. Those big old statues. I am, I am Stone Rick. The guy who looks at this ant on the ground for all eternity. Look, I'm looking at it. Yeah. Yeah, the what are you looking at? Last chance, old man. Where is it? Then, who does? Who does what? You do? Do what? Remind me of the baby. Um, okay. Oop. <laughs> the best move of all, throw axe. It's like, why attack with my axe when I can just check it to the skull? <laughs> I've got arrows sticking in me that I can reclaim. That's cool. Right. Oops. Goodbye, axe. Oh, a new axe. It's like, go, axe friend, go! <laughs> I 
The better part of Valor is throwing your axe or shooting a guy with an arrow. In the middle way. Big stone arch. Use up all our stamina running. Nice moody tree. Not trees, forest. I know how this game works. Maybe you're on my side, maybe not. We'll never know. Is something following me? Oh, what? Stealth section. Maybe technically this game has a pacifist mode. Are we the monster? You just assume that we wanted to murder all those guys. <laughs> Another torch bear back there. Oh, found us. Up the rock, up the rock. <laughs> uh, 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 hiding behind this tree area. <laughs> I shoot you in the kneecap. Oh, I suppose we could just hold down the button for that heavy attack, or just tapping is our light. Okay, okay. Good to know. What's up, buddy? You can't see me. You can't see me! Wait until you meet Mr. Axe Friend. I wonder if I can actually sneak by this guy. Doesn't seem like it. <laughs> that's great. Oh, that's I enjoyed that. Bye. I assume this is gamer brain, like, see a thing you can pull, assume that you have to pull it. Yeah, alright, here we go. Lo and behold. Whoop. Hey, buddy. Kick you, kick you. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Not so graceful. What's up, buddy? How's it going? It's a nice torch you got there. Yonder. Yonder. Uh oh, oh, found us. Hey, buddy. Oh, I kick you. Take your shit. Fight me. Come down here and fight me with your dumb torch. Fine. You 
guess I'll just leave. So full of arrows. Let's go see if I'm at high ledge. Okay, I'm supposed to. Ooh. New weapon. Nice. Also, is that an ant on my foot? No, it is just my brain. Alright, climb, 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 climb. Sign this document saying I have to re report if I saw ants in this place. And, you know, it's the summer, ants get places, but. They're like, oh, landlords are like, oh, just deal with it. And I'm like, okay, great. Well, my job's complete. I told you about the thing. So, like, I was gonna do all of that anyway, but you know. it's like I don't know what the, the point of this table is. Nice misty forest. Oop! I keep holding the button. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. <laughs> Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Okay. Looks like I can't whip out my. I can block with the axe. I can't use the shield though while I'm holding this two hander. That makes sense. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Go wax. Uh, right past that guy. Yeah, good job. Shit. <laughs> Arrow, go straight through this man. Maybe it's intentional. Maybe you're not supposed to be able to shoot guys at close range with arrows. Got a weapon? No. Okay. Hi, buddy. Back up, will you? <laughs> it shot an arrow into his buddy. <laughs> An axe, that's fine. Just got this arrow sticking out of my skull. I'll claim it later, I suppose, if I need an arrow. I suppose I could shoot an arrow just to get my uh, get this one out of my face. It's kind of funny, you can reclaim just like any spent arrow. Didn't even turn around when I did that yell. Long boats. Ooh. Don't don't find me in this water. Don't mind me. Splashing around. Making as much noise as I possibly can. This game's kind of promising, actually. Ooh. Dynamic shadow. Rar! I am a scary monster. <laughs> I don't know why this makes me happy. <laughs> but it makes me happy. <laughs> uh, ah, no! Godstone. 
Godstone. Godstone. Where are you, Godstone? Um. I got purple shield. Let's go. That was like white and purple. Hard to see from the side. Yeah, it's purple. Ooh. Uh, are you in the foreground yet? That blap. Roll past you. No, can't do it. No, ouch. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Get Rex. Let me out. Let me out. Uh. <laughs> no blocking that. <laughs> uh, fun. Oh, blop. Thought I was going to get the better of it. Alright. This reminds me a bit of a game that was like... Not Urbac or something. There's another game that was like 2D and Pixley that came out kind of recently. It's a little bit like this, except it's like fully rendered. That game, uh, I can't, whatever. Shouldn't talk about a game, I can't remember the name of it. Uh, I'm just, just run right past you. <laughs> Bye. Uh, uh, dodge. Roll past. Roll past. Get out of here. Go, friend axe. Oh shit 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 just keep going just keep going keep going keep going keep go farther keep going farther get up there pull up can't climb up that I wish I could shoot this guy in that face Nope Let me out, 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 let me out. Alright. <laughs> uh, Oop. Die already. Why won't you die? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Wishless today. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, that, that was a, a nice taste. It's a nice little. Uh, got got a good feel for that one there. Uh, it seems like it's got some room to, to grow, but um, I'm gonna give that one a. Uh, uh, Pretty all right. Uh, I had a, a good good time. Let's see. Actually, oh, right, that's not that's not on brand. We're really demo court. Um, Soulsy. Uh, some fun. Uh, uh, worth worth a look. I don't know. We'll just. I had a good time. Worth a look. All right, there you go. So, boop. Put that on our our Steam page thing. Is our camera like trying to figure out what, like lighting? What trying to just trying to adjust the darkness on the thing here? It's like, I don't know. I'm a little fixated on like trying to get this little uh, camera thing to show like a fixed. Darkness, like, it doesn't need to, like, try to dynamically change too much, so, but it's gonna try, I guess. Anyhow, 
So yeah, that was neat. Um, all right, uninstall. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, we'll, we'll put that on the wish list. I think actually that was that was that was fun. All right, what's next? Let's do City of Beats. Look at my face. Not look at you. Look at you. Look at my face. Look at you. I just have this weird thing where I see like a human face on the camera or whatever. I, like, like I'll look at myself. Even the video chats, I'll look at myself because I'm like self-conscious about uh, the way I should, like, I don't know, display myself to other people. So. Uh, all right. So to improve gameplay balancing. We want to track some data and whatnot. How much? What do things? Data. Improve things. All right. Sure. Right. So. Um. Okay. Start. Objective. Get to the final building and destroy the Zeitgeber. Zeitgeber and Gerben. Uh, press thingy. Okay, so we're, got, we're on the gamepad. I think this is a twin stick shooter if I remember. Okay, install modifications. Over. Old floating hover car. <laughs> it's like a big speaker. So, yeah, we've got a rope like here where you. Run around. Everything kind of plays on a beat. Lose some of our shield, I guess. Briefly, that's not reflect. Well, I didn't reflect that. No. I think it's. I think these mortar ones can't really reflect. works, but kinda. Also, can we change this thing from, like, right trigger? This is, like, one of my biggest bugaboo games, is that, like, basically, um, it brought vibration. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I like that. Okay. Um, it is a bugaboo, though. I guess, okay, no, no game controls. That, uh, Whatever your most used verb is in a game should never be on the trigger. Just pure. It's just always a mistake. Um, because like here I am using my index finger. I suppose I'm supposed to use my like middle finger to hold it down. I'm just not used to like using middle finger to grab right trigger. Uh, maybe this is something I should have learned way back in the day. A floaty, glowy container. Turn to your I'm using a, a Logitech F310, uh, by the way. Uh, this is like one of my favorite gamepads, aside from these triggers. Uh, the D-pad has got this like really nice um, eight-directional um, kind of kind of big old tab here. Uh, it's clicky and uh, goes the right direction that I want in Mining of Isaac, uh, which is like a game that I played back in the day. Um, it's really important to have a good D-pad for me, um, because like I don't want to trust that I'm going to play every game with a stick. Like for instance, like Hollow Knight, I think is really imprecise with a uh, um, stick compared to a D-pad. Um, lots of platformers like D-pads. Um, all right, so I need to invest in a new controller, or at least get my like Switch Pro controller to actually work with the computer. For some reason, Switch Pro controllers are the hardest thing to try and hook up to. Um, your PC. It's like Steam recognizes them, and then Windows is just like, drrrr. Competitive product? No way. Alright. So, Bouncy Ball, your attack shoots a single projectile that bounces to nearby enemy and deals extra damage. Your attack fires three projectiles, or projectiles in three directions, and your power attack fire automatically fires a second time with fewer projectiles. Um, so this Bouncy Ball thing. So, go back to the car. I mean, okay, so aside from me having to hold down the trigger all the time, um, like, this isn't bad. Although I'm not crazy about this cursor. Uh, we should probably actually just play with a 
mouse and keyboard instead of gamepad. Um, all right, craft a defense upgrade, or who knows what's gonna happen? Uh, who knows? Dark trade, a creepy mechanic, a mechanic who wants to trade, but it's not rings, power rings that they need. Um, what do you have in store? Select an upgrade, lose health. Just pay for the, pay me for the juice. Gain orbs, lose HP. I'm fine, thanks. All right, well, let's, let's pay some stuff. Any repairs out of, to, to your health out of combat are increased by 20%. After dashing, barrier stays longer. Power tech uh, deals more damage to enemies below low health. I'm going to pick easy fix because I just spent all my health. All right. Now we have to learn what dash is on the keyboard. <laughs> Hold right mouse and mouse button, shoot your power attack. Oh, uh, so your power attack like fires in the three pattern there. Space apparently is dodge. Oh, okay, and so these little yellow things are actually resources we want to pick up. So make sure you grab them before they disappear. Uh, not a mechanic I'm a huge fan of, but okay. to review the controls. Uh, activate Aura, Interacts, Power Attack, Dash. Uh, okay. Alright, so... The painful way. When taking damage, your weapon is charged by 6%. Uh, I guess if we, we can gain charge to get that overcharged thingy that we used. Um, Alright, so bare minimum, your health is restored to 40 if it was lower than that after an encounter. Okay. Well, it's lower than that, that right now. Uh, hazards like barrels and glowing floors deal less damage to you. Huzzad. <laughs> um, let's take this one, I guess. Alright, so... Continue. So, yeah, kind of twin sticky thing. Alright, so Elite. Better loot, craft a defense as well, gain uh, green stuff as a reward. I wonder what this red thing over here is. I guess we're going over there. Uh, right. Just do the hard way. Always do the hard way. Get the most stuff. Roguelikes are just like... You better have like a strong power level by the end of the run to finish the whole thing. So, yeah, just like... Hard way to lose. by enemies, recharge your shield, and weapons recharge, supercharge, click as many of them as you can. Okay. Recharge your shield and weapon supercharge. Should like read the thing actually. For each green you gain, repair two. Any repairs to out of combat are increased by 20%. I could level this up, but that's interesting, okay. Um so it's, it was 20, now it'll be 25 if I pick it again. Oh, well, it's kind of neat. I like the idea that you can stack upgrades to um, increase their ability a little bit. Uh, oof, 
excuse me. Um, that's what you're here for, the burps. So, um, elite combat encounter. So, Ultradian Bombardier, bo Bombardier. Bombarder? Bombarder. Bombarder, not Bombardier, because there's no eye in there. Your hover car scanner has discovered an Ultradian Bombardier. Not, you know, Bombardier. Bom Bombarder? Bombarder. I want this to be Bombardier so bad. Um, Alright, prepare getting bombarded with projectiles. Alright, well, let's do this. There we go. runs a little slow uh, for this kind of game. I feel like I'm pressing on the keys really kind of hard. I like I can rotate around like that. That's been fun. Um, damage for B, your power attack deals or stick to enemies longer and deal damage over time. Focus takedown drastically improves your power attack accuracy. Aimbot, your attack projectiles seek nearby enemies. Your aiming sucks. This one's for you. Alright, we'll do that one. Can focus more on running around instead of um, trying to things. All right, so craft a power flame power flame upgrade as reward. Increase difficulty. Better re reward. Gain more rings. Um, get a new upgrade, I guess. These flames are like maybe stat upgrades or something. Laser here that we just pull down towards the enemy. Careful when using them in maps to don't overheat. Right. 
Power upgrade. Barrels do more damage. Your power attack deals 10% more damage in the counter that rewards greens. Your attack produces deals 20% more damage, but also produces heat. Um, yeah, okay. So far, like the the options that I'm getting feel like reasonable for a roguelike. Um, I don't know what the value of this is. It just feels like getting a, an upgrade would be like more more important. Those things turn on like instantaneously. Don't step on those floor panels ever. These lasers seem to like just get me almost instantaneously. Which is rough because you have to get behind them. So it's not like you take them out really. Things, good things. Ah. It's nice that the little orbs like land on the building and the enemies off the other side of the building. It's a uh, good, good quality of life. I guess sometimes they're going to go to some place where you can not want to stay. Make sure to shoot barrels. Uh, hazards deal less damage to you. I guess the blue ones here might be better than these white ones. After dashing, the berry stays active longer. I suck at rhythm. <laughs> um, okay. White is like just a more common version of the thing, right? Because we saw a blue version of this, so it was two, uh, two times. Um, your damage, web attack deals more damage and it's close to overheating. Power attack deals more damage to the enemies below 30%. Alright, we'll get 
this heat thing going on, so we'll stick with it. Craft an efficiency upgrade as a reward. Craft a power upgrade as a reward. I haven't got one of these yet, so let's go and try that. I feel reminiscent that we haven't seen a shop yet. Just like, we didn't choose a track that would actually give us that. Drop enemy state longer. Oh, I'll definitely think I want that one. Um, maximum shield, more damage. Um, shield is broken, dash is no cooldown. Alright, we want orbs to stay longer. Constantly complaining about that. <laughs> so, nice that they have something like that. Okay. The Zeitgeber, you can't believe that you actually made it here, although destroying this giant drone ball is a totally different beast. Good luck. Well, thanks. It's a, it's a giant ball. It's like the small balls, but bigger. Dodge through the lasers. shoot their little lasers like so fast that I uh, uh, don't really get much of a chance to dodge them. I feel like I'm supposed to listen to the music to do that, but there's kind of like this bumping track in the background that's um, overriding my ability to like, hear the part of the music that might indicate that they're going to fire. Yeah, there's like a lot of lot of you going on. the 
Completed the demo. Uh, Alright, so we're doing regular play tests where you can uh, play through the latest version of the game and help us shape with your game with feedback. Okay, let's see. Junior traits. So you can spend your green stuff. Okay, that you picked up. Uh, using the equalizer below and I'll handle the rest. So. Alright, so this is like your permanent stats you can upgrade throughout uh, runs. Pretty, pretty simple. Just upgrades and increase your upgrade level chance. We've got so many of these. I guess we'll just max it out, I suppose. Oh yeah, orb attraction. So, neat. Alright. Yeah, like, if we went through one run, I guess, maybe it's the demo, right? But like, just like, max out an entire tree in one go it seems like it's a little too, uh, too lenient. Chill out, it's fun. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's a nice add-on. You didn't have to make a game uh, mode like this in your game to just show fun cars flying around in cityscapes. It's a little too foggy, I think, for um, uh, like something that's just a visual player or whatever, but like... Yeah, you know, if I were... I was looking for some sort of chillax, kind of trippy visual look at. It wouldn't be terrible. It wouldn't be the terrible. Uh, so, <laughs> exit. Why would you leave the? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um, join us on Discord. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do that actually. We're gonna come on, come by and mention a couple things. You could have just pressed Alt F4 for exit the game. That's cute little, um, some cute touches there. I don't know. Nice sense of humor. We're going to throw that on the wish list, I think. Um, we can watch as that game um, progresses. Let's see. Because it's, it's still early. Um, it's planned for Q4 this year. So they've got plenty of time to, to tweak some stuff. So that's, that's pretty all right. Yeah, cool. All right. So we've been we've been playing games for an hour here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this, and maybe what we'll do is we'll do a couple more uh, just to see if this is any fun. I mean, it's easy for me to produce, so like I'll uh, I'll probably just be like blam blam blam, you know, just chunk chunk them out there. Um, I hope that's entertaining. Uh, if it's not, I don't blame you. Honestly, if you're watching this though, uh, you must have been entertained at least a little bit. So, uh, and if uh, you quit the video earlier, you wouldn't have seen this at all. So I don't know what I'm trying to say. All right. Well, we'll catch you in the next one. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you didn't mind that the editing was a little lower quality. Uh, I was having some trouble with my normal editing software, and so I had to go back to the old one. Uh, hello again, Windows Movie Maker. Those games, once again, were Cooperative Chess, Song of Iron, and City of Beats. Go Google those or look them up on Steam if you're interested in those. Our outro music is Reservoir Sunset by Axeltree. Or Axeltree by Reservoir Sunset. I think it's the first one, though. If you like this video, 
Uh, please like and subscribe to some form of news that's actually credible. Uh, just keep your prize of local events and uh, remember to vote, you know, when necessary. It's really important that we take the Senate someday. This video is supported by people not unlike yourself who would like to watch my videos and encourage me to make more videos. Also, by coasters. Getting in the way of shit, but in a good way, since coasters. Thanks, everybody.